go east, that I am, uh, because I must pull towards east in order to bring about the balance. And immediately the balance come, I can only be proud to tell you that I'm an African nationalist who will always... Several decades ago, Jaramogi, whose Raila's father, cast the former prime minister after he misbehaved, the late had a meeting in a room, and all of a sudden, Raila interrupted. Then the worst happened. Here is the full story. Back when the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga was still alive, Raila stormed with hired goons into Ford Kenya Delegate Conference, which his father was chairing and started heckling him, almost putting everything to a standstill. His father, who was irritated, told him, Amolo, shut up and tell those youths to go away. Unfortunately, Raila insisted to be heard. In his mind, Raila thought his father was too old to be the chairman and Ford Kenya leader and wanted to inherit him by force. With the water and that in mind, his goons continued shouting at his father down with all blessings from Raila and that's when Jaramogi got more furious and told Raila this. Amoro, it's good that you have found it worth to disrupt this conference, Jaramogi continued. My son Amolo, remember I started this struggle since independence, way before you were even born. I have fought Kenyatta and Moi, but never succeeded. I'm still struggling now to be the president of Kenya up to now. Lastly, Jaramogi said, I want to tell you this. If your intention is to sink me down for a takeover, you will also struggle until your sunset days trying to be the president and you will never be that is what jaramogi oginga odinga told raila amolo odinga before he died Staunch support of either Raila or Rutos, um, so I expect uh, I'm, I'm, I am not uh, a supporter of either Raila or Naruto, so I expect that this uh, will be without bias. I am another fellow Kenyan who has heard the rumor that Raila was cast by his father to come close to power but never possess it. My curiosity leads me to research online on the truth of the matter and I am sharing the results of my findings with you to help clear the air around the, around the controversial issue. I will share two stories so that you decipher for yourself whether the curse really took place or it's a rumor that started spreading after Raila stabbed or rather shot at the presidency four times but it missed. Cast by Nabongo, Mumia, Shiundu, and cast by Jaramogi, Oginga, Odinga. Remember, there were several curses. The second story I came across before quitting my aimless wandering in the streets of Google was that it was Odinga himself who cast him. It allegedly happened during a delegates conference at City Stadium in 1992 when Odinga forcefully disrupted the event with an army of youths and confronted Jaramogi who was addressing the conference as the chairman of Ford Kenya. And that happened. Raila Odinga was cursed by his father that he will look for this presidency, but he will never get it. For now, keep subscribing.